So now we're doing the aerial acro. We're using the swing to help us achieve normal acro yoga poses. Acro yoga is where uh, one person's down on the floor and we're pushing up our partner. Uh, this can be challenging for beginners. So here we're gonna put you in the swing and then I will push you up. So we set the swing height up in relation to my legs. So I come under the swing here. I extend my legs. And when you are in the swing, it's going to be spread out wider like this. And I have to determine, do, when I extend the legs, do I want you fully supported 100% or maybe 80% or how much? Um, since you've never done this before, I'm not sure. I'm gonna bring it up a bit higher so that there is no chance that you will fall and get hurt. But now that it's so high, it's more difficult for you to get inside the swing. So what we'll do is use these blocks so that you can step up in. I'm gonna fold the swing over one, two, three times. And then I'll help you in. You're gonna stand on the blocks here. And then you place the swing down here under, um, like right onto the pelvis actually, onto the bone. And grabbing on the inside, coming to a plank. Okay. All right, let's try. So you're gonna step up here. And you're gonna bring the swing down under the hips. I place one hand under the shoulder, and you're just gonna keep this pulled towards you and then lean your weight forward. Yeah. Pull it back under your hips. Yeah. And then lean forward. Good. And then you're gonna bring your hands up higher. Yeah. And then lift your legs. Good. And you try to bring the swing a bit lower onto the hip. Right now it's onto your stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to try to push the swing down here as you lean your weight into it. Now it looks like you're pushing the swing away from you. Pull it inwards. But pop, keep your hands down lower. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then you lean your weight forward. Good, and then bring your hands up a little higher. Nice, and then bring your legs up. Great, now you're much more balanced, perfect. Then I move the blocks away. I come under you. Okay, try to straighten out your body. Straighten your legs, all right. And then the swing still looks like it's pressing too much into your stomach, but I think we can modify. So you're gonna bring one hand down. Good. And then uh, I bring my thumb in between your thumb. We don't lock the fingertips like there. Good. All right, and then I straighten my legs. I'm placing um, your pelvis into the arch of my foot. And then we uh, straighten our arms in a straight line here. So. Um, as you are here, you're pretty well protected. If I lose my balance and you fall, you are not going to slam into the ground. The swing will catch you. Uh, so like this, we can uh, feel a lot safer and I have a, uh, the ability to adjust my feet and you're not worried about you know, getting hurt. So we can do a couple things here. Like I'll tap my hand. That means you can point your hand away. Great. And then you can try to bend your leg and grab your ankle. Yeah, good. Okay, and then bring me your hand. Uh, no, not interlace the hands. We, we touch the palms, good. Okay, and then I can do things like I'm gonna bend one leg and straighten one leg. Or I can uh, turn you around. I can point my uh, feet down or up to adjust you. Okay, now I'm gonna bring you down. So reach up and grab the swing. 
yeah, with both hands. Okay, and then I release my feet. And then I can place the blocks back here. So you can step down. Good. And then up. Good. And then down. Great. So that was awesome. So as your first time, you've never done acro yoga before. We never practiced that before. And we were able to achieve it, you know, with the support of the swing. So that's cool. But if it was uh, without the swing, if I just tried to push you up there, uh, you probably would have fallen on the floor. And so now that you've, you know, had the feeling of being, you know, up there and aligned and supported, I think you'd be able to, uh, you know, achieve a, a normal acro yoga poses much easier. Okay. Um, I'll bring it down one. So it's a little easier. You want to place it down just a bit lower onto your hips. For this next one, uh, you're going to come up. So here, this is the bird. You were up in like a, a, a plank position. Now you're going to fold forward like this. So first come back up. Again, stand behind here, up on the blocks. Okay, and then put the swing down here under the hips as you lean forward. Mm -hmm. Keep it low. Great. That's fine. Good. Now bring your hands up. Bring your hands on the inside. Uh, yeah, 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 that's perfect. Okay, good. And then you're here up in plank. Awesome. Okay, so I'm coming under you. I'm placing uh, my legs straight up in line, and then uh, my feet are now, uh, the, the arch of my foot comes into the, the pelvis, and then it's turning out and wrapping around a bit, like this. And then you bring in one hand down, yes. My thumb goes in your thumb, with the base of the palms touching. Yeah, next one, perfect. Now relax your legs, relax your legs. Your legs come down and spread your legs. And then you're gonna fold forward. So relax down. Just your whole body is gonna relax down, good. Okay, relax your legs. Let your legs drop, there you go, now you're perfect. Okay, and then the, this is called a, f a folded leaf. From here I can massage your back. And you have some nice traction of the lower back as my legs are pressing in, into uh, your pelvis. I can also bring the hands together. I'm going to pull your arms overhead and push your legs back away with my legs. Creating more intensive traction. And then you can reach up and grab the swing. I'm just holding your shoulders for support. Okay. And then I'm slowly going to release my legs. The swing has you 100%. I roll out of the way, and then I can help you down by bringing the blocks back here under the swing. And then I will guide your legs down into the block. Step down. Good. And then you can stand up. You see I got one hand on your legs, one hand on the shoulders. And try to stand up. Good, and then you can step down. Perfect, good job. That's a folded leaf. Next one, we're going to try to do a chair pose. So you're gonna bring your hands back through the swing here. You'll come up onto the toes, placing the swing under your shoulder blades, and then bring your legs up like this, okay? And then Marie is gonna come under you and she's going to place her feet under your thighs and push you up. And as she pushes you up, this will become loose, but you can still hold on here for support. So if you start to fall and lose your balance, it's okay. The swing is going to hold you. So you've never done this before. Let's try it. No practice. So you're going to bring the arms back through the center and then try to hook it here below the shoulder blades. And I will bring the blocks here 
so you can get up high. And then I'm setting the swing up. Uh, up uh, to your chest level. Okay, so step up on the blocks. And I have one hand high, uh, one hand behind you, one hand in front of you. Great, bring your arms back through. Good, and then you're gonna hold it here under your shoulder blades. Okay, so lean your weight back into it. Right, and then try to keep it locked there. And then you bring your legs up. Perfect. Okay, Marie, you're gonna lie down under her, on your back. And you bring like your hips under her hips. Uh, move back a bit more. Sure. Right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you can grab her feet. Okay, under, like this, okay. yeah. Okay, great. And then you bring your legs up. Place your foot in the center of her thigh. Yeah, exactly like this. Okay, good. And I see, I would, I would like you to move a bit closer towards me. All right, right about there, yeah, good. Okay, so your feet are here. You're holding her, uh, her, her feet, uh, the heels with your hands. Then I'll support you. Uh, you can reach your hands up a bit higher because she's about to straighten her legs and push you up. So you need to sit up straight and you want your legs to come up straight. You want to keep her hips uh, right above your hips. Don't allow your legs to go back or forth. Okay. And let's see what happens. Okay, so start to straighten your legs and push up. Uh-huh. Good. And I'm just going to pull your feet back above the hips. Okay. And so hold it right there. Okay. And you got it. So right now, this you're holding the swing. It's holding you about 10%. That's good. You've never done this before, and you're achieving like perfection. You're like really nicely aligned, and you're pretty stable. Wonderful. Okay, and then you're going to release them, and allow the swing to catch you into the back. Then you'll roll off to the side, and you can pretty easily just slip down to the floor there. Awesome. Good job. That's great. Cool. So yeah, just by using the swing here, we're able to achieve these advanced poses. We go from level zero to level like nine. And then after a couple times, we learn how it feels, where to put the legs and how to balance. Uh, we can e easily achieve you know, more advanced poses. All right, good job. Thank you guys so much.